What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here. I am back with another video and I'm sorry for the absence. I've been really sick. I've got some other things that I'm dealing with right now, but I'm going to address that at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I will be addressing why I took a little bit of a break. Um, but yeah, it had to do with me being sick as well. But if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Love to have more hockey conversations with you. Today, we're going to be talking about the race towards the Rocket Richard Trophy. Now, um, earlier today, I was thinking about this and I was like, man, you know, this would be a cool video to make because a lot of players are scoring a lot of goals right now. And it's good to see, oh, the NHL, you need to bring the goal scoring back up. It's happening, okay? There's lots of people scoring goals. And then... An article came out, and I thought, okay, this is cool. Um, Tom Gulitti uh, put out an article. I hope I pronounced his name right. I believe he put it out today. Uh, I'm recording this um, on Sunday night. Uh, I'm still sorry if you can tell. I'm still really not feeling great here. But I, I, I said, you know what? I've been out for a long time. I want to make a video here, and I will be posting daily again. It's just, again, I'll get to it. But he posted an article and he has some good points in here that I'm going to bring up. I'm not going to take credit for everything um, because it's not all me. He wrote it as well. But I have my opinions that I was already starting to put together uh, for this video. So let's just take a quick look at the leaderboard. Currently, I've got the stats down here. Alexander Ovechkin in 68 games played has 40 goals. And that is the same for 19-year-old Patrick Laine, who has been absolutely incredible, tying his childhood idol which is super cool I believe I can't remember what event it was and I think Tom put it in the article um, about him getting hit um, by Ovechkin uh, I think it was last year and he's like I'm never watching washing this jersey again it was either in uh, one of the tournaments or in the NHL I can't remember but um, that's a cool uh, thing for them to be tied at the top and then you've got Evgeny Malkin in 65 games played has 38 goals uh, Eric Stahl, who has been just a great story in 69 games played, has 37 goals. And then the next two I'll just quickly mention, Sagan, 68 games, 36 goals. And William Carlson, again, cool story, awesome for Vegas, uh, 68 games played, 35 goals. So the race is there. And the reason why I went as far as to say Carlson, heck, I could even say the next guy, Nikita Kucherov, at 67 and 34 and again I could say McDavid 68 games played 33 do I think that any of those guys could take the title yes because with what 13 or 14 games left on the NHL schedule these guys can go off at any moment that's not to say the guys ahead of them won't go as well but all of these players that I just mentioned have the chance to score two or three pretty much any given night. So uh, it's been really cool to see the race, but I wanted to bring up Patrick Laine because there is some good uh, stuff that has been brought up inside of this article. Um, like, for instance, there's 14 games remaining. Ovechkin uh, is leading the league in goals are currently tied for the seventh time in his 13 NHL seasons, which would tie Bobby Hall for the most in league history. So Ovechkin, whether or not he does it this year, he's going to do it. Um, being 32, Ovechkin, I still think he's going to beat Gretzky's goal um, record. But Patrick Laine has nine goals during a five-game goal streak um, and 15 in his past 11 games. Just incredible numbers for the kid. He is he's going to be an elite scorer in this league for years to come and this is just last year and now this year he's exploding. Uh, I really feel like he's a guy that's going to challenge Ovechkin every single year or whoever like Kucherov, McDavid, whoever's scoring a lot of goals. Line is going to be there too. Um, I think that there's a good chance that even the next guy on there, Yevgeny Malkin, ha having 39 goals, I believe he's played three or four less games from uh, the stats He's a guy that has just been incredible for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Where would they be without Malkin scoring all these goals? And I know they have Crosby. I know they have Kessel. And now they have Broussard. But he has been putting up a ton of points, scoring a lot of goals. Then you look at Eric Stahl. What a great story. Uh, had some rough years. But, you know, with Minnesota, 37 goals for Eric Stahl. And I think you can tell that he's just enjoying the game right now. Scoring goals putting up points like he used to do and it's fun to watch him play again because I, I want him to do good like all hockey fans do they want to see you know a guy like Eric Stahl score a lot of goals because he's still one of the more talented players in the league and growing up 
Uh, that was a guy I watched as well. Um, so apparently Ovechkin would also be the oldest to lead the league in NHL goals based on his age on the final day of the, of the season. It says here, since Phil Esposito scored 61 at age 33 in 1974-75. Um, that is just crazy. <laughs> 61 goals, I mean, <laughs> that that's a lot of goals. And I, I know Ovechkin's a guy that would like to score that many, but... Uh, we're, we're not sure if that will happen. But again, going back to some of these guys that are on this list, uh, I did mention McDavid. Even McKinnon has 32. I can't see him moving up again, but McKinnon's been great this year. McDavid and Kucherov, I wanted to mention them, uh, even though they're a little bit farther behind. Like I said, those guys can explode. They're you know, McDavid's trying to carry the Oilers right now. They're not going to make the playoffs. But he's just going and attacking the net and scoring as much as possible. I think he's really frustrated. And him scoring all these goals is maybe easing his mind a little bit. Even though he is the captain and he wants to make it to the playoffs. He's proving that the Oilers are still going to be contenders if he continues to um, put up points and put up goals. And he's saying, listen, get me some more guys to play with and I will take this team to the promised land. Um, and Kucherov plays for Tampa. They're a great team. He has been fantastic. Um, Stamkos has been fantastic. And again, he's a guy that can just score all the time. Carlson for Vegas, they've been super fun to watch. I know they cooled off just a little bit, but he can explode. He's amazing with 35 goals. Sagan, super underrated. One of the most underrated players in the entire NHL. I hope I said underrated the first time. When I watch this back, I hope I said underrated the first time. I'd, he's definitely not overrated. He's underrated. 36 goals. He could come up and, and get past there. He, you know, the, the Devils are really trying to make that push to be uh, a playoff team. So him scoring goals, when uh, he could definitely get up there. That would have to mean a couple of these guys would have to slow down a little bit. I think Ovechkin hasn't scored in three games. Uh, we'll have to see there. But uh, like I said, Stahl, good story. Do I think he could win the scoring title? Maybe. Uh, he's at 37 goals. Let's see if he can hit 40. That'd be cool. Malkin, Liney, and Ovechkin are really in the thick of things um, right in that race. And it could be any one of them. They're all on great teams. Liney's trying to bring the Winnipeg Jets into the playoffs, which they probably will. Ovechkin is looking to just go into the playoffs and do something. So he's scoring a ton of goals. He wants the Capitals to finally break through in the playoffs. And, of course, Malkin and the Pittsburgh Penguins are trying to three-peat, and I'll be making a video on that. So this was just a discussion video. Let me know what you guys think. I really like making these discussion videos. They're fun to make. I love talking about stats, looking at stats, not trying to make this so professional. Like, let's just have a conversation about hockey like we do on the streams. Everybody loves the streams. That's what I try to do with these discussion videos. We look at stats. You know, we talk. You comment. You know, whatever you want to do. But, um... I just wanted to bring something up that I didn't think I would ever bring up. So uh, I haven't made videos for what, five or six days now. I have been sick and that's been a major contributor. Um, also, you know, I'm in school, which is also a major contributor. YouTube right now for me, it's fun. It's really fun. But the channel hasn't been growing. And, and I'm not afraid to say this because, you know, it's a little frustrating. I, I got a comment from this random person that was saying look at you need to be the hockey guy because you're you know you're you're not succeeding and you know what i i really enjoy the hockey guys videos but i'm not trying to be the hockey guy and um i i really didn't want to have to bring this up but when people comment con consistently saying where's your videos where's this where's this you know it i'm, I'm trying to couple, come up with new ideas so comment those if you've got ideas what you want to see as well um People weren't happy with the fact that I was being really truthful when it came to the Leaf game reviews. People said I'm hating on my own team. I bleed blue and white. The Leafs are my team. I'm not going to kiss their ass. So I wanted to bring this stuff up because that's why there's been a, a little bit of an absence it, it, on top of school and being sick. I want to I want to have fun doing this, but I want to see it grow. So whatever way you can help me, if whether it's liking the video, if you're new, subscribing, watching a live stream, what whatever you can do, uh, I'm really trying to push towards 2K and 3K. I'm not. I don't want to set goals. I want to. I want to just break these goals all the time and keep shooting up and um, being successful on YouTube because it is fun. I love making the videos, but I love talking to more and more people, and I like to remember people. I like looking on the channel and saying, "Oh, they commented again." You know, let's have a conversation, and that's something I'm getting better at is commenting. I want to co respond to the comments, but if you really want a quick response, I respond to tweets all the time. 
And it's not like I'm not I'm no celebrity. I'm no famous person. People tweet me and all this stuff like that acting like that. Thank you. I appreciate it. But like I'm just I'm your friend, man. I just want to talk hockey with you no matter who you are and um I just want to have fun. So let me know what you guys think about this video. Like I said, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. If you don't like the video, dislike it. That's up to you. I I appreciate it if you tell me you don't like this type of video. Um, that's what it's there for. It says dislike. Click it if you don't like it. Uh, i got nothing against you. So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Daily uploads coming again. Peace.